Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I make videos about minimalism and vlogs and traveling and occasionally whatever's on my mind. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Today I just wanted to talk to you about my minimalist wallet. And as you can see, this room is extremely maximalist. This isn't my room and I don't find it reflective of the minimalist lifestyle. So I just wanted to sort of compare how my stuff is more minimalist. As you can see, I wear a lot of black. My bag is black. This is the bag I keep my phone in. I just recently upgraded to this bag because my old bag broke. Planning to get rid of these tiny things here because they're not minimalist enough for me, I suppose. But I just wanted to talk about how my wallet is minimalist and where it's kind of come from. And I, because I really wanted to share this from you guys so you can make your own minimalist wallet if you wanted to, or you can just talk about mine. Okay, so this is my minimalist wallet here and of course you take a good look at it and you don't think, oh it's not that minimalist. I mean it's got this silver writing here with the name, it's got the pink and the orange and that's like very clashing, it's very bold, it's not very minimal, I mean there's two colours. But I chose this because I mean it's extremely high contrast because if you put this against my shirt I'm not going to lose this wallet and I feel like wallets they need to be practical as well as functional. And so this one, I consider it a minimalist item because if you think about the ethics of minimalism, I suppose like not consuming too much, this only cost me five bucks at my local supermarket so I didn't queue in line at the Apple store and waste 60 bucks on a phone case or a wallet. I just kind of bought this when I felt like it. So here you can see that I have hole punched through the iPhone case. Some of the iPhone cases come like this. I have a five iPhone 5 I haven't upgraded to the 6 and I don't plan to I know it has a better camera my iPhone's kind of all smashed up this is the inside of my minimalist watch and I don't have any loyalty cards I wanted to tell you guys that that I don't have any loyalty cards because I feel like I did at some point I had like 20 loyalty cards let me tell you about all the maximalist things I had I had bank cards I had like different branches of the banks I went to. I had library cards for all different branches in my city. I had kind of jewelry shop cards. I had accessory cards. I had gift cards. I had uh, loyalty cards for supermarkets. I had loyalty cards for chemists. I had um, coffee shop cards. You know the ones they hole punch and then you get like, you buy 10 coffees, you get one free. And I realized because it was becoming more of a hassle to like, oh, don't forget to scan your card when you're buying something. And I realized it was reinforcing this notion of consumerism onto me. It was kind of the advertising, like climbing into my life, climbing into my wallet, climbing into my own space. And I want my wallet to be my space, not a big brand space, so they can sell to me. And like the notion every time you open your wallet up, you like being constantly being resold something a brand or a name or an image so at the moment in my card sometimes I have my staff discount card I bring it with me separately if I'm planning to see um, or indulge in a staff reward thing for where I work uh, I have an RSL card I don't bring it I just keep it at home for when me and the workmates are going to party but apart from that I just have my identity cards I have my main ID and my one that I have to have at work legally, otherwise I get a two grand fine. It's my responsible conduct of alcohol card. And then I have my bank card. I don't carry cash with me, so this is my entire wallet. I feel like it is inconvenient sometimes, but wherever you go, if you live in the city, there's always an ATM nearby if you need cash. And I feel like it makes me kind of think more about my purchases because that way I'm not just throwing away all my extra coins. I know everyone's different when it comes to credit cards. Some people don't like them because they feel like they're not actually seeing the money pass through. But personally, I just feel like it is a very minimalist way to uh, interact with money and wallets and finance. And apart from that, I have my transport card, my Opal card. And in my wallet on the inside, it has my name and my 
phone number in case this gets lost because I'm always losing things. Well, I used to lose things a lot more. When you have a lot of items, it's easy to lose track. So on my journey towards minimalism, I really want to make every item I own authentic and speak to me. It's all about the process of making an item give you joy. And I feel like every item is a transformation, is a work in progress. Like, if this wall gets dirty, then I'll have to clean it. It won't be like, maybe I'll find another way to improve it. Maybe I'll scrub off the little engraving, brand engraving. I plan to do that sometime soon. And my phone, which is smashed. I don't plan on fixing the screen. I don't see why I should fix the screen. I mean, it cost me like a hundred bucks. I've got it fixed before and it's just gotten broken again. I just, <laughs> it's not something I really want to indulge in because this phone will only sell like $50 resale in my country anyway. So yeah, I, it's really good. I don't have to scramble around looking for things. When I go outside, I have my wallet, my phone and my keys here. It's all in one package. And so I've got my house key and my screen door key. And this little thing is actually a tracking Bluetooth device. So if I ever lose my phone, I can just go into the app and, or if I disconnect my keys, because you can take the key ring off the wallet. If I wanted to separate my phone and my keys, say if I was going for a jog or I wanted to leave them somewhere. And this little Bluetooth device, I'm not being sponsored by them or any of these companies, <laughs> any of the um, products in this video, they're not sponsored. But this is really cool. This is like the best $20 investment around in my opinion. Though it does, if you shake it around too much, sometimes it's noisy, so I turn off the noise feature. But I, if you lose things and you have Bluetooth and location enabled, then it just shows you. So if you lose your wallet and all your cards, then you just turn on the app and it gives you a GPS location. It's actually, I've lost my phone in my house. It tells you if it's nearby or if it's close at hand or if it's at a different address to you and it's uh, saved me so many times. I got one for my parents, I don't think they know how to use it properly, but I, it's so convenient, such a good investment, and I'm keeping this on my phone. And that's it, basically. How many things is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six things in a wallet. Easy to keep track of, just pop them in, pop them out. It's done, dusted. It, I just feel like it's really, Suitable wall for my lifestyle. It's nice and bright. I can find it easily. The black isn't too glaring. And my case for it, which if you just look at the back, um, fits in perfectly. Not too many hassles. I just put it in there right now. Just pops away, out of sight, and then I can hit the club. I can go for a walk. Um, it's a pretty multi-functional kind of wallet bag scenario. I feel like it's a really good way to keep down clutter and just have a really easy, comfortable kind of lifestyle with your own items. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you around hopefully in my next video. Please subscribe and give this video a like and <laughs> tell all your friends that you've had a good day and how much you care about them. See you later!